this meeting going to? Oh, in there. Can't believe how fast. Okay, so anyway, back to the problem. Um, and again, I, most of you guys did put in your answers. So we'll go back through and kind of look at those. <clears throat> we'll see how you guys did and what you were thinking. And then at the end, I want you to go back in and post again. So remember, you can post something that you learned. You can post a response to somebody's question. Maybe they asked you to explain a little more. After this would be a really good time to do that. OK, so in this case, let's just take each scale independently. And you guys know how to build equations, right? So the sum of all these things here, the apples and the oranges, equals 37 ounces. Whereas on the right scale, the sum of all those equals 51 ounces. So whenever we're building equations, the first thing you always want to do is define your variables, right? Remember how we did that on a couple of practices? So I'm just going to use x and y, you know, because that's what we're familiar with. And we're going to say that x is equal to the number of, and we'll go with apples maybe. But it doesn't matter if I said apples or oranges. And we're going to say that y is equal to the number of oranges. So always define your variables so that you know what you're looking at. Oops, I shouldn't say number because we're not looking at number. We know how many. What I should say is the weight. So let's change this. Sorry. So the weight of the apples and the weight of the oranges. Okay, and that's what we're trying to find. So when we define our variables, we're defining it based on what we're trying to find. And it says right here, what is the weight? So we're trying to find the weight. So let's go ahead and build our first equation based on the first scale. So if I build this equation, I need apples. So how many apples do I have? Well, I have two apples times however much they weigh, and x represents what they weigh, plus I have three oranges, times however much those weigh, and y represents how much those weigh, and that is going to be equal to 37 ounces. It says right there on the scale, right, that the total of that weighs 37 ounces. Okay, so I'm pretty good. Now what I need to do is I need to write my second equation. And obviously I can't do anything with my first equation because I have two variables. I have an x and a y, and I, I can't solve with, you know, two variables in one equation. So I'm going to write a second one. So my second one, I look at my apples, and again, I have two apples, but this time I have more oranges. I have one, two, three, four, five. So I have five oranges, and now my weight is higher. I have 51 ounces is what those weigh. So what I've done is I've made two equations, and this is called a systems of equations what I'm about to do, and you'll see a lesson on it too. So if it's not so familiar to you, you will be able to go back and watch a lesson, and then it should be even more familiar once you watch the lesson because of today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these two equations together in order to solve for x and y. So what I can do is I can add these equations together, or I can subtract these equations from each other. And the goal is, and what I'm going to do here is this is called elimination. I'm going to write it up here. This is one method elimination. And if you think about last week's webinar, we did systems of equations, but we used substitution for the hotels and the cars. This time we're going to do something called elimination, and it's an actual easier method. Well, if I take 2x minus 2x, my x's will go away. So I think I'm going to subtract. But again, I can choose to add these two equations together, or I can choose to subtract. And in this case, I'm going to subtract. So I have 2x minus 2x. My x's are gone. Now I have 3y minus 5y. That gives me a negative 2y. And then if I do 37 minus 51, I think that's a negative 14, if I did my mental math correctly. OK, now you can see where it's going to be very easy to solve for y. So all I need to do now is divide both sides by negative 2 in order to solve for y. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is just 1, or 1y. One and negative 14 divided by negative 2 is positive 7. So now I know 
what the weight of the oranges are. The weight is seven ounces. Um, Kiona, are you struggling with just hearing me, or or do you have a specific question? Or I did all of them, so I add all of them up, and then I feel like eighty-three. Oh, you did a total. Yeah. That's fine. I mean, and that's why you put right in there what you did, Janae. It's okay. So yeah, Kiona, I guess um. Can you explain, like, did you, are you confused on how I got the seven ounces, or, did I did the math wrong, did I? Which part? Hey, Lita, do you want to turn on your microphone? And then we can talk about it. Hi, Lita. So which math are you talking about? Uh-huh. Ah. Um, okay, try it in your calculator. Do, do 37, look, let's do it up here. So I have a calculator. Hang on. So if I take 37, right, and I minus 51, I should get negative 14. Were you, are you doing it in a calculator or are you doing it in your... It's okay, Lita. It's good that you tell me if you think because I don't want to... Oh, you were very close, though. You were very close. But always tell me if you think I did it wrong because it would mess up the whole problem. So thanks, thanks, for, thanks for looking at that. Very nice. All right, so Kiona, are you... Yeah. Kiona, are you confused? I'm not hearing from you, so are you confused on what we did, or is it just hard to hear because I'm breaking up? Okay. Well, I'm going to move on, but I'll watch, Kiona, if you have a question or anything. Okay. So, you guys, if we know how much the um, oranges weigh, we can figure out how much the apples weigh now. So, if I look at this first one, if the oranges weigh seven ounces each, I have seven, 14, 21, right? And I could just subtract that from 37 to figure out what was left and then split it in half. I could do it that way. Or I can use algebra again to help me. So one of the things I can do with the algebra is I can take this seven ounces and I can plug it into any one of my equations. So I think what I'll do is I'll plug it into this first equation just because the numbers are smaller. So I'm gonna replace y with seven. So what I have is 2x plus 3, but then instead of y right there, I'm going to put 7 because I know that y is 7. Oops, put a y though, put a 7 there, sorry guys. I'm going to replace y with the 7, just like that, and then I'm going to solve for x. Okay, so this is an algebraic way to do it. And again, um, you're going to have a lesson on this if you haven't already gotten to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve it. So I have my 2x. I'm going to simplify. This is 3 times 7. 3 times 7 is 21. Okay, so all I did was multiply those two together. Then I'm going to move 21 to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 21 because I'm combining my like terms onto the same side, right? So what do I have left? I have 2x left on the left side. These have canceled out. And on the right side, I have 16 left. Okay. So final step is I need to divide by 2 in order to solve by x. So 2 divided by 2 is just going to give you 1. And 16 divided by 2 is going to give you 8. So let's check you guys' answers and see. If anyone got eight ounces for the weight of the um, apple and seven ounces for the weight of the orange. So I'm, I'm going to go back and double check you guys' work somewhere. Where? Let's see. Here it is. Okay. Uh, whoops. I just had it up and then I lost it. Hang on, guys. So Kiana, Scrabble. Scrabble? 
Oh, have no, have no fear. Okay, I'm just going to refresh. All right, so let's look at what you guys had. So Kiona had an apple at 3.6, and I think, Kiona, are you thinking that then the oranges are 10.2? So I was just trying to look at her logic. Two oranges equals one apple equals five oranges. So I'm a little bit confused on that, Kiona, but it looks like you were doing some math. Um, I'm just not sure what you did to get there. And then, oh, Kiona, you wrote, I saw that there are five oranges on the left. Okay, so you guessed that two oranges equals one apple. I divide the left by five because of the five oranges. Oh, okay. See, that was a great explanation, Kiona. That was a really good explanation. And that is problem solving. That is logic. That is, that is perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. So, you know, like I said, you didn't get the right answer exactly, but... I'm looking more for, ah, uh, your logic. Yeah. All right, I'm good that you're back. Okay, I'm hoping everybody else is back and that we all didn't. Oh, I think some people got kicked out. Ashley, Dustin, and Jeanne are still here. Everybody else is gone. Okay, well, anyway, so we'll continue on, but, um, so Ashley says, I think the apples are 8 pounds each and the oranges are 7 pounds each. And then Ashley, you know you can't write I don't know why though, right? I know, I know. But you, but you understand that you could put, like all that stuff you're doing on the paper is awesome. Like you just want to explain what you're doing and that would be perfect. And then... But that's what you want to say is like you're just putting things together and seeing if they work out and that's perfect. Janae, did you hit post? Sometimes you yeah. hit post twice. Okay. Um, okay. So hopefully you guys are all back in. I know I booted some of you guys out just now. Um, okay. And so Skylar... You said the oranges weigh more than the apples. I think that one orange weighs 10 ounces and one apple weighs a half an ounce. So, again, totally fine. All I would want a little bit extra from you is why do you think the oranges weigh more than the apples? So explain that. Um, and then you actually did respond to Ashley, which is perfect. Like in the second one, there was five oranges and two apples. But what do you – that was what I would want to know is um, – oh, and then you wrote down here too. I made that answer because I see how many apples and oranges there are. So – so you're making an excellent attempt at trying to um, explain that. So that's good. Is Lita kicked off still, Skylar? Oh, you can't hear or see me right now. Um, but here's the test because Janae is asking, am I sure? So that's a really good question. So here's what I would do, right? If we said the weight of the oranges is 7 ounces, hopefully Dustin, okay, good, you guys are good. So if the weight of the oranges is 7 ounces, then I'm looking here. I'm going to write on here. So I've got 7 here, right? 7 for this one and 7 for this one. And the apples, we said, weigh 8 ounces. So I would write 8 here, 8 here. So let's add that up, and it should come to 37, right? Mm -hmm. So 7, 14, 21, 21 plus 16 is what we have. And if I add those up, I get 37. So it works on the first scale, but I would want to make sure that it also works on the second scale. So again, I have 8 and 8 for my apples. And then my oranges are 7 ounces each. So I would do 7, 7, 7, 7, seven and 7. So I have 5 7s, which is 35. And I have 2 8s, which is 16. And if I add that together, I do get 51 ounces. So that's a good check. So, Janae, that was actually a really good question. And you can always go back and check. And actually, the way I checked would be a good way for you guys to guess, right? Come up with a weight. Well, it's a lot of I didn't know. I didn't know. And I was going to put it on the Oh, and that's okay. And you know, like I said, Janae. Yeah, that's no, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. I just want to see what you guys are thinking. That's all. 
So then that's what you wrote. You think the apples were four and a half and that each orange, but you added them all together. And that would be a good thing to explain on there and say, and this is why I got 83 ounces is I added them all together. And, and that's part of the explaining part. And then Lita, you said apples are eight, oranges are seven. Oh, Lita, did you get it right? Is that what we said oranges are seven? Yeah, good job. So Lita, you got it right. So let's look at your explanation. If you multiply two by eight, you will get 16. If you multiply five by seven, you get 30, or 35, you mean? If you add those together, you get 51. So you, uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, here I see her. There she is. Okay. All right. And Dustin, you, um, the problem, so Dustin, is you didn't explain though how you got that. So like I said, what I'm greeting you on is not that you have the right answer, but that you have a good explanation. So what I really like is when I come up and I see explanations like Kiona has some math in there and she explained what she was doing and you know, you can kind of come through here and explain and, and, um, and do what? But not responses like mine. No, but you did a good job later, you know, kind of asking. And then um, Lita did an explanation of how she got her numbers. But then, Lita, you would maybe explain more and just say, you know, I maybe I picked a number or I did trial and error. And then when you multiply that out, it works. So that's what I'm looking for, you guys, not the right answer necessarily, because it's hard to get the right answer. If you have the right answer, that's great. And then I want to really know how you got it, because you got it right. But what I'm grading you on is not necessarily the right answer, but how did you get the answer you get? OK, you guys, any questions? Any questions? All right, perfect. All right, so we're just going to carry on a little bit with this concept for today's webinar, you guys. We, our objective is to solve systems of equations through simple elimination so that you are familiar with it when you get to this week, um, which I think was, like I said, maybe was week, it was before Thanksgiving. I think it was week 15 or something like that. Maybe it's actually week 14. But anyway, um, so why don't you guys do this first? Go ahead into your notepads. So type your name in your notepad. And if you want to use whiteboards, you guys, Skylar and Lita, you guys can use whiteboards too. And then list any questions you have on content from past weeks. So what I can do is on our next webinar, if you guys have some questions, then we can kind of design the webinar around your, for me. Okay, so what we're going to do, you guys, um, just, we just have a couple I'm going to do with you, and then I'm going to have you try one at the end is all. And we're just going to practice solving these systems of equations. So you guys have done that in the past. Um, in fact, not the past, but the immediate past when we looked at the apples and the oranges. So now we're going to actually try some that are not word problems, but this is just practicing the math skill. So in both these cases, we have a system of equations. We have the first set and we have the second set. And what you want to do when it's called simple elimination like this is you want to eliminate one of the variables by either adding or subtracting the equations together. So let's look at the first equation. Would you guys add these together or would you subtract them? Okay, so I got one answer. And Janae, what do you think? You want to add these together or subtract? All right, Skylar, is that you? Okay, Lita said add. Okay, add. So we get in a couple adds. All right, so if I actually, if I add these together, four plus a negative four, what happens to that? What, what's four, four plus? Zero. Oh, no, it's Good. It, it cancels. Because, yeah, four plus a negative four, you're taking a positive 4 and a negative 4, you're putting those together, they cancel. So it turns into 0. Somebody says 0 also, which is good. So these end up canceling, right? Which is what you want. That's elimination. We eliminated the x term. So let's go ahead and add the rest. If you add the first ones together, you have to add all the rest together. You can't change it. So we have 7y plus, and this is 1y. If there's nothing in front, it's like there's a 1 there. So 7 plus 1 gives us the 8y. And then 10 plus a negative 2 
That means you're subtracting 2 from 10, and you end up with 8. So if I divide both sides by 8, then I get y equals 1. Okay, and that's our y. So now I need to figure out what x is. So I can take this y value and I can plug it into either the top equation or the bottom equation. It doesn't matter. Um, so maybe I'll just choose the top equation. So I have 4x plus 7. And then I'm going to replace the y, because now I know what y is, and y is 1, right? So I'm replacing y with 1, and I get 10. So I just rewrote the equation. Okay? And all I did is take this 1 right here, and I replaced it in for y. Okay, so now I'm going to simplify. So 7 times 1 is just 7, and that equals 10. And I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. Okay, and I get 4x, 7 minus 7 is gone, equals 3. Hopefully I did my math right. And if I divide, x equals 3 fourths. Um, let's see. So now I know what x is and I know what y is. So when you guys are writing these, you always want to write them in ordered pairs. So my x value is 3 fourths and my y value is 1. And that is the solution. One thing too, if you want to test, like Janae was asking me, how do I know I'm right? If you take those numbers and you plug them back into each equation, so I put the 3 fourths in for x and I put the 1 in for y, and I simplify the left side, I should get 10. If I do that on the bottom and I put the 3 fourths in for x and the 1 in for y and I simplify the left side, I should get negative 2. If this is a solution, that means it's going to be true on both of the equations. Okay. All right, you guys, let's try this last one and then I'm going to have you guys do one to finish off. So let's look at this one. Okay, so again, do I want to add these together or do I want to subtract them? So if I add, which variable is going to eliminate, though? Okay, good. So, yeah, so I actually want to subtract. Because I want one of the variables to eliminate, to go away. So, Janae, do you see, like, if I add 13 plus 13, I actually get 26x. And if I add negative 2 plus negative 5, I'd get negative 7y. And then, and then none of my variables go away. So it's a little bit confusing until you get to this lesson, but basically if you subtract, watch what happens. So if I subtract them, 13 minus 13 is gone, right? Mm -hmm. You get zero. So I've eliminated my x's. A negative 2, so if you do a negative 2 minus, then what I can say is this is negative 2 plus, and then change that sign, right? If I change that sign, I have to change that sign. So that ends up with a 3y. Are you? Okay. I'm not saying it was on the last day. Like on all the other ones that you've done. On the earlier stuff? Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Well, we don't, we'll sit and go look through it, Janae, when we're done. If you, if you want, we can go through it. Well, we did this last week, but we do, did it using substitution instead of elimination. Does that make sense? Um, you what? All right. I know. Well, I know. It is hard. Yeah. Well, just if you can, just try to hang with me and we can sit and talk about it afterwards as best you can. You're a ways away from this lesson, Janae, because this is like week 15 or 14 or something. And so, you, it's, you know, you may never get to it. Okay, you guys, let's finish this problem up so that you I'll can... Do it. Well, I do not to say that. Well, but the quarter, there's only three weeks left. I will. I'll do it. You will? Okay, okay. Then, then stay with me as best you can. Because what you need to do is get to the I lesson. Know it is, but I'm not 
Like the apples and the oranges are you talking about, or? Or, okay, and then we'll go back, okay. Yeah, we can sit and figure out what area you need some help on. Um, but let's finish this up then, you guys, so that you can do your last problem, and then, then I can let you guys go. So, if y is 5, remember that what I'm going to do is substitute this in. Okay, so I'm going to substitute it in for either the top y or the bottom y. It doesn't matter which one. So maybe I'll go ahead and substitute it in for the bottom y. Okay, so I'm going to do 13x minus 5, and then in place of y, I'm putting in the 5. Okay, because y is 5. And then it's going to equal 1. So I get 13x oops, minus 25 equals 1. So I'm just simplifying is all I'm doing right now, right? I'm just solving for x. So I'm adding 25 to both sides. And then I get 13x. These cancel equals 26. And my final step, if I divide by 13, then 13 divided by 13 is just 1x, and that equals 2. Okay, so I've now figured out the solution. I've solved the system. I've figured out my x and y, just like I did with the apples and oranges. My x value is 2, and it looks like my y value is 5. Okay. And again, these webinars are going to be that much harder for you guys if you haven't done the lessons. Go ahead, Skylar, yes? Did you have a question, Skylar? Are you sure? Okay. Okay. All right, you guys, then here's what I'm going to have you guys do. So here's our last problem of the day coming up eventually. What I want you guys to do then is see if you can put these two equations together, right? Add them together and see if you can get a y value because my x value is going to eliminate. So at least see if you can get a y value. So let me give you a couple minutes, see if you can do that and write that in your notepad. And if you want to write the work as you go in there or in your whiteboard, that All right, you guys. Let's come back. So I don't I don't notice. Let me um so Skylar good and Lita good. You guys have answers in there. Very nice. Um all right, you guys. So I'm gonna just kind of get a poll. So it looks like Skylar and Lita are definitely figuring this out. Dustin, I want you to raise your hand first of all if you're still with me. So raise your hand. Oh okay. So Dustin then Type in the chat um, what's going on with you with this. Are you understanding it? Are you lost? I just want to know. Where am I typing? Hey, Justin said, can you how did you feel about it? Ashley? Okay. 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 Ah, uh, okay. So, okay, so it looks like other than Skylar and Lita, you guys are kind of confused on this. And, and again, really if you, um, when you watch this lesson, it'll probably get a lot easier. But I know that I think this practice might be in Khan Academy too. I'm not sure. So it, as you get to this, whatever support you need, you know, definitely reach out to me and let me know because it can be kind of confusing. Okay, so all we have to do in order to solve for x and y is take these two equations and add them together. So if we add them together, 2, what we end up with is 2 minus 2, right? Or 2 plus a negative 2, which is the same as 2 minus 2. 2 minus 2 is 0, so we've eliminated our x variable, which is our goal. Okay, and it looks like that is what I saw Skylar doing there. And then let's add the rest together now. So 2 plus 4 is 6. And then we have our equal sign. 8 plus 10 is 18. Okay, and then to solve for y, all we have to do is divide both sides by 6. 6 divided by 6 is just 1y. And 18 divided by 6 is 3. 
Okay, so that's how we get our Y. So Lita, you're off just one, so I'm wondering if it was just a math, a little bit of a math mistake in there is all. And then it looks like, Skylar, on yours, um, you just subtracted, um, but you actually did put a plus sign up there, which is correct, but then by the time you got to your 8 and 10, you ended up doing 8 minus 10 instead of 8 plus 10. Otherwise, good job on your work. Um, okay, so now we're going to take in, we're going to figure out our X. So to figure out our X, all we have to do is take this 3 right here and substitute it in for one of our Y's. So what I'm going to do is replace, I'll just replace this top Y here with 3, and then I'm going to solve. So I have 2X plus 2, and I'm replacing the Y with 3, equals 8. So I get 2X plus 6, 3 times 2 is 6, equals 8. I'm going to combine like terms, so I'm subtracting 6 from both sides. These cancel, and I'm left with 2X equals 2. And finally, if I divide both sides by 2, I get X equals 1. And then, I'm just going to write my final answer. 1 comma 3 is the solution. Um, I, oh, I did. So this is a second step. Actually, Janae, when I, when I take my 3 right here uh, at this point and I plug it in, I'm starting over. So I'm just taking this whole equation here, 2x plus 2y equals 8, and I'm using the whole equation. So it's like I'm starting a new problem in a way. But yeah, you're right. We did get rid of the 2x on the first step. But then this is like brand new kind of a thing. All right, you guys, so um, I think that's it, you guys. So that concludes our webinar for today. This is systems of equations. They are a little bit difficult. You'll do these in core one, and you'll continue them all the way through. And through core three, we do these as well, only we make them a little bit more complicated. Um, and they're just good to know. It's good to learn how to solve multiple um, variables, multiple unknowns when you do that. So. Um, Lita, it looks like, yeah, so I think, Lita, you were just off, by the way, on one, and then, actually, Skylar, it looks like you got the, or you put a Y is three on there, so good. Um, but anyway, you guys, any questions on this? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, okay, and that makes sense. So you actually knew how to do it. It was just that you, yeah, you just did the opposite math of what you needed to do. Okay. Okay. Well, then that's good. So actually, you know, you've, you're you're come a long way. So, like I said, when you watch the lesson too, and and you doing what you've done, because you guys are up both doing the right math. You know, you're you're adding or you're subtracting. It's just little errors, I think you'll you'll do really well on this actually. And then um Renee, you were you're just wanting to see me prove it. It doesn't it doesn't show that you prove it. Okay, so we can prove it. We can check our work. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh yeah, so yeah, good point. Okay, so what I want you guys to do is just um you are done, um but what I want you to do right now as you leave is go back into the discussion and make sure you have post it if you didn't post. So post to somebody else's, complete your post, but make sure you complete that assignment. You did? Good. Very good. All right. You're all set? Okay. Yeah, you guys can go then if you want. Um, and then, Janae, let's just prove these together. Let me show you. So, yeah, you guys can stay if you want or else the webinar is concluded. So thanks, you guys, and we'll see you next week.